Hi everybody, it's Anton from WebPromo. Today we'll speak how to create custom reports in Google Analytics. Why we need customization and why we need custom reports in such tool as Google Analytics. We can make our reports, our data more flexible and get all the information that we'll need in one report. How can we do it? We have to visit customization tab in Google Analytics. The next step will be to press button add new custom report. Let's name our custom report. Uh, let's think what information you have to use more often and uh, it uh, has uh, the main interest for you. For example, you want to know more about your traffic sources. The usual information you look in your custom reports is about your traffic sources, campaign, keywords, and so on. Let's name its traffic sources. Sources report. Here we are. We have to check our dimensions and metrics that we'll use for our report. Let's add such dimension as source and medium. Yes, we have source and medium. Uh, for example, after we checked source and video, we have to get uh, rather fast to data about campaigns, our ad campaign that we use. Let's use campaign. And after we uh, know more about uh, campaigns, we have to learn about uh, cities that uh, our customer came from. Let's use the last dimension, let it be city. So we have all information about dimensions we need to analyze. Let's add some dimension about our customers. Let's add more metrics. For example, we need visitors information. Well, let's take session information. There are sometimes problems with Yes, we have sessions information. And uh, the next thing that we can use, it can be bounce rate. So we can add some maybe transactions. Revenue. And maybe one or two micro conversions. For example, I want to check uh, registrations to our online conference social media day, SMM day, and I need goal completions. Okay, let's save and see what data have we got. We have such beautiful report. We have all information about traffic sources, we have sessions, we have bounce rates, we have transactions. We know that during these two days there was only one transaction. Let's look uh, more in details from which, which source it was. It was from uh, uh, promo from our agency website. Let's look uh, from what campaign. We can't see campaign because it's referral source. But we can't see from what city this person came to our website. This person was from Kyiv. We know that we have one transaction during this weekend and uh, this transaction, this uh, order was from Kyiv. The same uh, analysis we can get for any other campaigns. For example, I want to learn more about uh, registrations for our social media uh, conference. The most uh, registrations we have from Facebook. Let's uh, analyze what exactly campaigns uh, gave us this traffic. Uh, we have uh, SMM Day 1 campaign and also SMM Day similar campaign. Oh, for example, you can see about uh, from what cities came people who registered to our conference. 
Yes, we see that the most of them are from Kyiv. There are from Kharkiv, Dnipropetrovsk, Lisa, Odessa. So in this way, you can get all dimensions and all metrics you need to use. It's uh, rather easy to edit any information. You'll just press edit. You see all this report configuration. You can change anything. Just uh, add everything you need. For example, I can kick city and can add uh, maybe country or something like that. After that, you press save and you'll get your report. You have all your reports in the left tab. You can use them rather fast. And uh, these uh, all things, all these functions can make your uh, online marketer's life really easier. Try to use all these functions to get more information about your audience, to increase your sales. It was Anton from WebPromo. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and put like to this video. See you in next podcasts.